Hello, uh, my name is Max Efkin, and I'm here to talk about the world's biggest machine and how to fix it. Now, we are all connected to this machine. It is so powerful, we can access it with a flick of a finger, and it is so pervasive that we only notice it when it's not there. And don't worry, Ignite wouldn't let me turn off the power. <laughs> I'm talking about the North American power grid. It is the 20th century's engineering masterpiece. It was designed to do three things really well, and that's to make electricity affordable, abundant, and accessible. And it succeeded in that amazingly well. But in the 21st century, we're running into a number of different issues, including extreme weather, terrorism, and an aging infrastructure. Now, the thing to know about the machine is that it's actually a very complex network. No one owns it but it's actually made up of more than 2,000 utilities and agencies. And we have some very large nodes on this network, and those are large-scale power plants. They're large because that makes low-cost power. And we also have 160,000 miles of transmission infrastructure to take that power to, to your home, to your office, wherever it needs to be. Now, the cool thing about the infrastructure itself is that it is a network. And as we look, it has to stay in balance, all right? So the key thing is there's no storage on the grid. Supply and demand are always matched in real time. And demand will always use the nearest supply. And it's the utility's job to maintain that balance. It's a really difficult task. And as we see with extreme weather, like Hurricane Sandy is the only the most recent, and it will not be the last. We put millions of people without power, for weeks at a time. We take away core services from them, and we have gas lines up and down the East Coast. Now, Hurricane Sandy was unpredicted, but the 2003 blackout, in my mind, is even more severe, not only because more people were involved, but the cause was actually predicted 20 years before it happened. So clearly, extreme weather and the, the world's largest machine you know, there's a big problem there. Now, there's terrorism. Cyber terrorism is very real. There was 13 cyber attacks against the grid last year, but everyone in the last week seems to be talking about this sniper attack at a substation in California. It lasted 20 minutes, and it took the substation out for 27 days. It cost more than $30 million to fix. And then there's this aging infrastructure. We have not made substantial upgrades to our infrastructure since the 1980s. And just as one data point, Puget Sound Energy would like to spend up to $300 million for 18 miles of transmission upgrades. We have 160,000 miles. And it doesn't matter who you are. The great part is we are all NIMBYs. Nobody wants these high transmission towers in their backyard. And this is going to play out again and again. So how can we fix the machine? Well, it's pretty interesting. So it's a network, and we have a lot of large nodes on that network. If we increase the number of nodes, and there's a number of technologies that are starting to come online that can produce low-cost power, and they're very small in size. And we've seen this revolution before. Just as the mainframe was disrupted by the PC, and the smartphone is disrupting the PC, putting more nodes onto the network strengthens it. It takes care of these extreme weather events. It takes care of the terrorism. It takes care of the infrastructure risks. And the cool part is, is that you're going to have a part to play in fixing this machine, because these technologies will range in use, but they all kind of have three things in common, and that is that they're clean, ubiquitous, and reliable. And there's a number of, um, and as you kind of get to that point, you really get to choose what it means to you. Now, the utilities, obviously, they know this is coming. This is not a big surprise. And some are kind of shying away from it, and there are others that are embracing it. But the key point, really, to, for my mind, in order to fix the machine, is that you are going to have a voice in bringing about the next generation of technologies and taking the machine into the 21st century. My name is Max Efkin. I'm an energy entrepreneur, and I've obviously co-founded a company called Supercritical Technologies, and we're dedicated to fixing the world's biggest machine. Thank you.